Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to close our event and I ask you to please take your seats again and listen for one more short moment for today. Minhas senhoras, meus senhores, ladies and uh, gentlemen, just a very, very short word to say, firstly, uh, this was my first Fort Copacabana, but not my last. On the contrary, I'm very much looking forward to the next editions. I was already looking forward to this one, but uh, for the next ones, I will know why I'm looking forward to them. It was an excellent day's discussion. I was struck by the fact that our concerns, the concerns that we have in Europe, the interrogations, the questions, the challenges are shared uh, by Brazilian audiences, Brazilian speakers. And this is a, a, an important stimulus for charting uh, the next, next editions of the Fort Copacabana. On, from the part of the delegation of the European Union to, to Brazil, I would therefore only like to say thank you to uh, all who have come here. Thank you uh, in particular to the Conrad Adenauer Stiftung and to uh, Centro Brasileiro de Relações Internacionais, our partners, to say that from our perspective it is a privilege to partner with you and that we look forward to continuing this partnership. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to reach uh, the end or of our uh, seminar here. We had many themes. It was a very fruitful conference. I am so sorry that I couldn't attend all panels at once. I am not, I, perhaps one day I will be able to do that. I would like to thank you all for being here, for all for participating into this conference and for the discussions that were brought. The themes were complex, but I believe that uh, all the themes were very well discussed and we leave this conference more enlightened about uh, themes regarding the European Union and Brazil, uh, uh, other doubts were raised, but I believe this has to do with the enhancement of our common knowledge on the on these themes. I would like also to thank Konrad Adenauer Stiftung um, and Felix Dunn. I have worked with him many years and I'm sure he will um, keep up this partnership with us from Berlin. And we will keep um, upholding our partnership, which is very important for SEBRI and Konrad Adenauer Stiftung. I would also, also to thank Ambassador João Gomes Cravinho. He represents the European Union here in Brazil. And I would like to thank for his support to this conference. Uh, which is named after Fossil de Copacabana, uh, where the first conference was held. Our conference examines matters uh, that have recently been added to our uh, concerns uh, lately. Uh, matters of uh, integration, of interconnectivity, matters that are part of our agenda and part of the globalized world agenda. Uh, those themes were exclusively uh, uh, discussed within the sovereign states, but now we see that the discussions uh, have to do with a more intense uh, international cooperation. So thank you, and Felix uh, and Angelica Vinio, and thank you all for being here. Yeah, this is uh, my last event here in Brazil. 
three years I've been here, and I have to say these were three fantastic years. I have a wonderful team, a great office, colleagues who are competent, with whom one can implement such events as the Forge Copacabana. It was a true pleasure working with all of you in my team, but also of all of you who are here present, um, the partners, SEBRI, the EU delegation, the German embassy, consulates. Um, these three years were turbulent in Brazil, started with uh, the visit of the Pope and the um, social protests and uh, the Football World Cup and many things happened in the same way, the Forte Copacabana. Oh yeah, well that is, we don't mention that. <laughs> Um, but there was also many changes in the Forte Copacabana. It exists for 12 years now, but it has been growing constantly. Um, this year um, we had uh, 350 people throughout the day here present. We also had 166 people watching us online through the online streaming, which is uh, a fairly good number given that it's the first time that we do so. Um, we had 12 embassies represented here in the audience. We had six consulates represented here in the audience. And I think the way we move, this is really slowly and uh, but certainly establishing itself into one of the major conferences on international security. So the Copacabana Security Conference is growing and I hope it will be part of the International Security Conference concerts. Um, I'm therefore also pleased that two of the founding fathers were present once again. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I would like to thank Sabri for the good cooperation, as always. Um, we cooperate on various fields, but uh, this one in particular. The EU delegation, it's always a pleasure working with you and to continue this good cooperation we had with your predecessor to see that you are very interested in these issues and also want to continue along those lines. I'm very happy about that. And um, my team, thank you very much. Um, it's wonderful to work with you. And uh, of course, all the um, panelists who were here who made this event. And finally, the interpreters, because no international conference can work without interpreters and no one sees you. We all know your voices, but we don't see you. So please give a hand to the interpreters. I thank you very much and invite you now outside for a cocktail. <laughs>